truth, porn, militia. We're going to need funding. Whatever you can give us for trade, whether that be guns or ammo or alcohol or pills. No donation is too small or too large. I mean, don't hold back. Truth, <laughs> porn, <laughs> militia. Blood and Mile Sessions Live. It's a little bit after 7 o'clock, and you know what that means. We have a live band performance, and I am lucky enough to have these gentlemen with me tonight. The band known as the Salem Rex. How you doing, gentlemen? Doing great. Thanks, Scott. Awesome. Thanks for having me. All right. My pleasure. So without further ado, why don't we get started? What would you like to begin with? We'll start off a song called Nothing Means Anything Anymore. <laughs> Look out my window, I see a condo, stupid haircuts and SUV. Pages turning, lately nothing pleases me. Used to be, used to be, used to be. It's the whole as we usually do at the beginning of the show, if we can go around the room and introduce yourself, starting with you. I'm Chris Brown, uh, new to the band. New to the band, until they change their minds, right? <laughs> yeah, we actually just found him walking on the sidewalk. He saw uh -huh. long hair like you play bass. Mm. He said, yeah, and I go four string or five string. He goes four string. I said, you're in, get in the car. <laughs> and he had a pulse too, right? Yes. <laughs> All righty. 
And you, sir? Oh, I'm Billy James. I'm the singer, guitarist. I'm the ringleader of this godforsaken outfit. My long suffering drummer here, Cash Cochran. <laughs> Longest surviving member. It's good to see you all. All right, again. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. I've, I've never been here before. Yeah. It's so my modest. first day. It's my first day. Yeah. He's got multiple personalities, but we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> I talk about that with my therapist. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at Every that. Every Wednesday at 7, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm uh, Max Green, uh, also known as Uncle Ghoulie around town. Mm -hmm. And a uh, uh, hired hand, I guess. Yeah, I joined our, up. our utility player. He's yeah, been with us since our first yeah, game. Yeah, I joined up because they needed somebody, and I said, sure, that sounds like fun. These are good songs, so he writes good songs. So mm -hmm. I thought, what oh, the hell? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So I'm kind of new, kind of not new. Mm -hmm. That last one, I didn't, didn't, didn't know It's very all. new for them. It's very, very new, job. yeah, yeah. Well, you faked it pretty good. So. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple songs that uh, didn't have, aren't recorded yet, so we kind of just, mm -hmm. the rest of them I could practice to at home. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is pretty good. Nobody cares about your process, dude. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. So uh, what is the t uh, story behind that, t that song, the title and everything? You know? You know, nothing means anything anymore? Or? Uh, it's just kind of pure apathy in a way, I, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That, uh, you know, in the last, I don't know, 15 years or something, it, it feels like a lot of technology and stuff's kind of taken the fun out of certain things, and mm -hmm. the work's gotten harder, you're doing more, and, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people getting paid less. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, if you've been around a while, you know, it's, I don't want to get too nostalgic about things, but... Uh, some of the older days were fun, even though things weren't necessarily good. Stuff used to mean something. It used to mean something then, yeah. Well, if anything, I would say, that in a nutshell, things were a lot more personal back then. You know, the interaction yeah. you had with other human beings was actually face-to-face -face and in person. And when we went out and uh, played as children, we actually played together outside. Yep. Now it's like you don't even have to be in the same room to play a video game with somebody. I know. <laughs> You're hitting it right on the head. That's the kind of stuff the song's about. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Why don't we keep it going? What do you have now? Oh, uh, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder what's next. I do too, by the way. Yeah. My, my song titles are obviously, obviously confusing. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to practice, so yeah. All right. I am a nimity there. All right. Rainy 
your corner lot Another truck parked in my spot That's when it finally occurred to me Still I wonder you ever think about it About why you had to set me free When the evening chases out the daylight So the songs that we're going to check out this evening are pretty much most of them going to end up on a release. Is that how it's going to work? Uh, eventually, uh, that's, the, that's the plan. Yeah, we're, we've uh, been recording at the Dave Roof Studio in Grand Blanc, and uh, we put out 145 already. We'll get to a rooftop a recording. Rooftop recording, you know? Yeah. Yes. And then comes up uh, often here. <laughs> oh, he's great to work with. Very patient. The guy is very talented. He's a saint. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool. All right, why don't we uh, continue? What do you have now? Sure, it's called I'm Not George Jones. I could have moved to Nashville, made a splash on his road. Pull the disappearing act and watch my leg grow. Whenever those stage lights come on, I'm always at the show. Right on time, and again, I'm not yours, John. Trying to make a hit song about Eddie's moonshine still. Sing it high along the song, this life in the dirty hills. Singing about the whole days, and I'm so long gone. Half a fill. So was he an influence on you as far as music and songwriting, or is that just like something that uh, kind of you get the um, inspiration from that Showtime thing that came out? No, no, it's just it just came to me <laughs> right after waking up from a dream. I always liked George Jones, but I'm uh -huh. not, uh, I won't call myself a mega fan or anything. Uh -huh. um, well, like clearly you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you're not. <laughs> well, there's so many people. There's so many people loving country music. It's hard to spread the. Uh, I try to spread the love around a little bit uh -huh. evenly, but uh, <laughs> yeah. give yourself a drum roll there. Huh? All right. Yeah, yeah. The goal was not to be a George Jones impersonator on that song. So yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty good uh, show. I watched it. I don't know if you gentlemen saw it. No, no. It was on Showtime. It was about George Jones and what was it? 
Tammy Wynette, I believe. Yeah, and no, but there there was a uh, Tyler Mahan Cohen was uh, was um, a person. He was an advisor on that show because he did a podcast prior to that all about okay. George Jones, and they used him because like, he's it's David Allen Coe's kid, Tyler Mahan Cohen. Okay. okay. And Tyler Mahan Cohen, he, I mean the. the the podcast is excellent, and and they pulled from his they pulled from his work to make that basically. Really? Yeah. That, yeah. That so, part I didn't know. Yeah. So um, I didn't watch the Showtime thing or whatever the show uh, because I'd already listened to his podcast, and it's very in depth. Okay. I mean, he grew up with the guys, so uh, but if you get a chance, uh, Cocaine and Rhinestones is the podcast, and uh, or, and, mm. and uh, yeah, he loves George Jones. Um, and yeah. I that, thought it was a great story, though. I mean, uh, Michael Shannon, who I think is an awesome actor, played George. And then I think it was Jennifer Chastain, I believe, that played Tammy. And I think both of them, if not, uh, at least Michael was up for an Emmy for that, actually. So I highly recommend so, it if you're into that kind of a story. No, you know. I am. I love that. And that, that era, of those, you gotta, those couples like that back then you know, like where power duos in the country business were mm. pretty cool. They had some wild stories too. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they were they were not uh they were not uh afraid to have a little fun, let's say. Well yeah, I mean especially George. I mean he basically was in the gutter and Tammy, you know, saved him mm. more than once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, whenever I come home and my yeah. wife's throwing away all my booze, I'm like, Who the hell are you, Tammy Wynette? <laughs> 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 yeah, so, but, you know, the rest is history. But uh, you guys are not like that at all. I mean, you, you're straight and narrow. Not right? at all. <laughs> no, if you heard the I song, the it fifth. was literally about how he is not, not George, George Jones. Jones. Yes. <laughs> one can only aspire. All right, why don't we do eating, another Eating one? raw potatoes on your bed after, after a yeah. show, you want to do that? <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. All right, let's do another one. All right. That the curtains open the window Try to keep the balls from closing in Where the sunshine gets past my jail Been three months, now the year begins If I live with my teeth in this leg Where the sofa die alone in this If I live with you in the notice Would you feel the emptiness? Another one That's that's a newer one too. So, and we all just learned yeah. that yesterday. Actually, ah, just ah. kind of slapped it together. Huh? Yeah. All righty. Why don't we keep it going? What do we have next? AM radio. AM radio. Remember yeah. that? I mean, it still exists, but yeah. hey, 
My dad refused to put an FM radio in the car until like 1983 or something like that. <laughs> wow. So like all through my childhood, going anywhere we went, anytime. We did a lot of road trips, too. My dad took us all over the place mm. in his cars and uh, AM radio every time. AM radio, that's all we had. Was it Rush Limbaugh? I don't know. No, he was all music. We didn't listen to any talk radio. We listened to music, mostly like oldies, CKLW and stuff like that. You know? Yeah, AM radio actually was a, a good place to listen to g good music back then. Yeah. When we were young, I mean, between, like you said, CKLW and then Honey Radio, you could yeah. get some of the oldies. But that was back when Top 40 was um, anything and everything. CKLW was the coolest station if you, were, if you had to be on AM. You know, you'd, one minute you were listening to Deep Purple, the next minute it was John Denver. Yeah, and, it was quite a, eclectic know. on that one, yeah. I was in Billy James's old car the other day. He was driving me around, <laughs> and he literally had it on AM radio, and all of his presets were AM stations. I, I, I live on that stuff. Uh, CKWW 580, Windsor. Okay. Oldie station, go back between that and um, uh, 6.30 AM out of Canada, the big country station. Okay. Can't okay. live without them. So there's still a little bit of music left. Yeah, that's about it. And then there's some uh, Mexican music. Uh, 13, yeah. 13, 10, left out of Detroit. I pop that one on every night. I, 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 yes. I do too. Is that, uh, that's of, great. I mean, not to be, you know, think, uh, is that out of the Southwest? Is and that Dearborn, Dearborn, Detroit, yeah. So oh, it's so. Dearborn. Oh, yep. nice. I'll have to check that out sometime. Oh, there's some Arab uh, the stations on the AM too over there. Yeah. Well, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff yeah. on there. No, no. They, they, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay, so here's our tribute to AM radio. All right. It's been years since I gave it up. The FM stations play them songs too much. They miss those channels with that crystal clear sound. Oh, but here's a zeppelin hitting the ground, and I want to hear something. Close to my heart, I got an AM radio. Turn it loud. Standing for my favorite song Don't wanna work, listen all day long Jump in the car and away I go No, 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 no My old boy is doing everyone Around here knows not to let my age Yeah Well, the last time I was here I Doesn't matter that the song we hold. What's the train? What's the price of green? I got old school country. I'm my friend. What's the weather? The days in the ride. Well, the mind is here. I just had a quick question, and we'll move on. That oldie station you mentioned just a moment ago, what do they consider oldies now? What era? Oh, well, no, don't you ask that question. <laughs> How dare you? I, I think they have a special criteria. They cut off in 1980. 
but I think it's 79. I think, it's, I, think it's, I think it's a bleed over in 1980, 1981. But it's, uh, or 30 years? Boo. They, they do strictly 60 to uh, 80. 60 to okay. 79. Well, they, they finally moved forward now because, you know, yeah. before, you know, going back to talking about Honey Radio, that was like the mid-70s, and they considered oldies late 50s, early 60s. I mean, that was only like, what, 15 years prior? True, true, yeah. Now it's like, you know, anything from 85 on is still considered modern rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 90s kind of like, they, that's like its own limbo land. It's not yeah. aging or no anything. No one wants to claim it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not aging or anything. It's, not, it's complicated. It's not, no, they're actually, actually. That's I, not my I child. You, I know on like CXS, they're, st they're to play some of that stuff, so. Yeah, but they don't call it oldies either. They call it classic. Classic. You know? like, uh, so we're not old. We're classic, we're classic right? right. We're classic. <laughs> vintage. I thought we were vintage. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as they don't call us antique, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. When we do another one? Yeah, we're going to do the uh, A side to the 45 we did up at Dave Roof Studio. Rust Belt Blues. Went to the kitchen and the cupboard for bed. Walked to the superstore, get some fresh air. We were running low on wisdom and love, and lots of other things that mean so much. I asked the counter man these things that I need. They're on back order, we got in the room. Got ammo clips, big as your own. Hey, does it blame? Keep all the fun. I'll fix the sky one year's mattress From the family, they like asses in the Great recession, man, that was our time Spreading the sand shit in the white collar crime Now we didn't cause this mess and now we insist If I hope the dead give off the interest It's all there in the terms of use Everything's put here Control compensation. Do you have this this on the duration? You won't believe me when I tell you the news. Stuck outside the truck with the rust belt blues.
side A of the new 7-inch. So, besides coming to a show to see you gentlemen, which we'll talk about in a minute, what would be the best uh, way or the best place to get that if they wanted one? Oh, the easiest right now is uh, Bandcamp, The Salem Rex Bandcamp. All right. Yep. Hopefully we'll have some new stuff on there uh, just after the new year mm -hmm. from um, studio stuff we've been doing with Dave Roof. All right. Got a few more things for you. Okay, uh, so at the beginning it might just be um, available on Bandcamp digitally or? Yeah, you can also order the 7-inch from there. And then when you finally get that release together, uh, is it going to be uh, physical? Are you going to have CDs, vinyl? In, in some form, yeah. We're, we're not sure yet if we want to do uh, 45 or uh, EP or save some for an album. I mean, right it's, now it's you, can, you can buy a 45. We do have we the 7-inch. Right, right the seven yeah, inch. The yeah. But and then that's on there. And Everything else that we do is on Bandcamp right at the moment until it's finished. Which is the best place, I guess, right now? Which is weird because that's like kind of old and then it became like hip again. Suddenly, well, everybody's like, we'll just put our shit on Bandcamp. Well, the best thing about it is, you, you know, it basically sets you up where you can set up your own shop, so to speak, on your own. And then the fact that they don't take all your money away. And yes. You, you I mean, so currently what you can get right now is there's a physically a seven, the 45 with mm -hmm. a big old hole, and then, which has got two songs on it. One we will play again. We just, that one. And then um, there's some digital downloads that you could purchase off of there currently. And then all the other stuff that we're doing um, will be out once it's finished. We got... Uh, Joel Jackson on pedal steel for a couple of songs uh -huh. on the recording that's okay. coming out now, so that's good. Um, he's okay. an amazing musician. And then, um, you know, other than that, if you go on to the Salem Rex at Bandcamp.com, you will see everything that's available at the moment, and you can physically purchase a 45. Yeah, old school, seven inch. All right. Buy a 45 with a big old hole. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we're going to do that song next about the 45. Yes. About the 90s rock scene in Detroit. Okay. All right. With a big old hole, that's why we're living in the throw that future. Wanna feel it we're alive. One and all minds and rockers. Wanna get your nine to five. A dollar bill, then it's still. Check myself in the bathroom mirror. Let it check, let it print. Nine was over and the money spent. Nine was over and the money spent. Living in the throw that future. Wanna feel it we're Live with the Salem Rex. 
So, we got a show coming up, right? Yes, December 17th. 16th. 16th, all right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Quirk Town Tavern. And uh, Max, you remember who we're supporting? No, but they're cool bands. Uh, <laughs> cool bands yes. the, cocktail, the community cocktail of Detroit. Sh cocktail shakes and... Um, Oh. The split shifters. Split shifters. That's it. Yeah. There are new ones. I was gonna say, ask the bit. guy that booked the show. I've, I've been. Uh, I've, well, I was gonna let you guys do I've, it. But no, I was gonna I, let you flounder. I would have got, got it. I would have got it. <laughs> I like these guys. I, I've I've been to some shows with the cocktail shakes. Those guys. Are actually, uh, if I could correct you, uh, it's actually just cocktail shake. Cocktail shake. I, from booking them, I found that out. There's no S in it. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. But yes, they are a good band. It, yeah. It's a good lineup. The, you and the other two bands. Good night of uh, little different types of rock and roll, if you will. And where is that? Court Town oh, Tavern. Oh, okay. And what day is that? It's a Saturday. It's a. It's what date though? December sixteenth. All right. At where? <laughs> All right, I think you wore them out mentally anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, Court Town Tavern, that's on Michigan Avenue, 1716 is the address. Doors at 8 and three great brands. It's, it's the place and where you volunteered to load all of the gear. Yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, that was that day? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right. So, why don't we continue? Squeeze in a few more songs, right. of course. It's a two-time girl. I'm good. Yeah, hope not. Oh. Yeah. 
To be fair, we do the same thing sometimes. There you go, an honest man. <laughs> I'll admit the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. Life. No you know, you know the recording this guy's right. That's right. <laughs> Statue of just, limitations is long past on that one. Long past. Yeah. Just checking. I, I look at it this way: if I've made it this far, then you know I'm not going to worry about anything I divulge anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think we definitely had time to get the rest of them in. Um, yeah. Once again, this is Eleven Mile Sessions Live with the Salem Rex. And uh, what do you have now? A little bit of a uh, self-descriptor of the band. It's uh, it's called I Rock. I have a rock band. I got a rock band. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it, yeah. It's autobiographical. Autobiographical. Oh, definitely. Okay. Okay. He's always got my words for me. So you think you have a rock band? I keep band, I huh? keep his words in my pocket. Ah, he's got to keep track. Autobiographical. Yeah. So when did you realize I've got a rock band? <laughs> I think when he joined as uh, number three originally, I'm like, now yeah, we finally have a rock band. Yeah. Not just some uh, big ideas in someone's basement, you know. Mm -hmm. Some bigger ideas with three people in someone else's basement. <laughs> ah. Yeah. You moved into a slightly bigger basement <laughs> yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> someone and, who, and he didn't pay rent. No. Oh. Someone who knows, knows what he was doing. It was nice. <laughs> You're not talking about him, are you? Oh, yeah. yes. that's so sweet. <laughs> Can I get a close up? Can I get my where's my fucking close up? Ah, uh, we need a close up on cash. Uh, oh well, maybe next time. You sure you want? Oh, a there will up? be a next time. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm afraid of that, but oh well. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So, we have another one. We do. It's called Bad Day. Ah. Uh. Lost my job to a robot Lost my girl to a girl In the monopoly, you ask me, baby 
Don't you ask me about the shape of them Who did tell you where to begin Nothing seems normal and nothing seems right And then I'll wake up screaming Back in the land of free Never living around the old road tree There was trouble that I didn't see You saw a needle that was waiting for me And put my arms in, it's always the same Going back there, feeling the pain And you weren't there, we didn't understand That this was my generation for day and night I keep my purple heart I'm just a picture of the way Living in my car Put my eyes in it's always the same Going back there through the pain And you weren't there Would it understand that this is my a good day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm, all right. Try not to be too down all the time, you know? Yeah, it doesn't do us any good no. anyway. He's the most positive person I know, but all of his songs are, his songs are so nihilistic. <laughs> not all of them. What are you hiding? I guess that's therapy for you then, huh? You get it out in your songs, and then you're great right. besides that, eh? All right. Well, I'm looking at the time. I think we actually got time for three more, if you oh, can, can squeeze them in. Yeah, I noticed see. there was one from earlier. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll go back to that one, but since we're on the uh, subject of negativity, this one's called Life is a Drag. <laughs> Bad day, life is a drag. Okay, but you're a happy person. sure about that he's a happy man huh? i mean i guarantee you he's the most yeah, positive yeah, yeah. front man i've ever with the least amount of ego that i've ever actually had to work with songs are, those songs are cathartic i hope people who are going through something bad can listen to him and uh he's a very nice guy with a very positive attitude yes, yeah. how much but this song is called nothing 
How much did you pay him to say that for you? He works for free a lot of nights. <laughs> I work for beer. I work for beer. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> but I see all these things like life's a drag, bad day, two-time girl, and all that other stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah I get right about the bad and the good. But you, you do. You get it out with your songs, huh? Yep. How long have you been writing your songs? Uh, since about 2017. Just oh. I, I met up with an old buddy, and uh, I was playing drums in his band, and when we had downtime and things were happening, I just went home and started writing my own songs and learned to play the guitar again. So. Ah, okay. So prior to that, you were just kind of playing with people? I was, I was raising kids and working too much. So he, oh. he, Before the children, the little ones, he had a zine, a rock zine in the yeah. area that... Most people might be familiar with if you're from Probably the not, but if yeah. you're from the early aughts. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had a zine called Broadside before I had kids, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we covered the local garage scene, and then I did a lot of uh, folk rock and uh, Irish punk bands and stuff after that. Okay. So, yeah. And then all of a sudden, family got in the way. Darn it. Well, yeah, it was, it was time <laughs> to do something else, and the, the zine wasn't going anywhere, so you know, people didn't read zines anymore. So yeah. <laughs> time. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're starting to come back. I mean, they're online, of course, but... Yeah, yeah that was... The, the internet thing. killed them. Uh, mine were made of paper. Yeah. You should see paper. his phone. Remember that. Don't tape. talk about my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any interesting photos on there? No, it's... No, it just flips open. <laughs> yeah, flips open. Oh, yeah. it flips open. I, I left it in the car so that wouldn't get brought up. But you, you could play like... You could play like, I, I think, asteroids on it, but that's about it. It doesn't even have that, but... Yeah, wow. You probably, probably loaded it on there. But you know what? Th those are coming back, the new Samsungs. They're, they actually open. So they say. Yeah. Everything that is old is new again, except no. for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't go into that. But, um, alrighty. So. Uh, got time for one more? Oh, we got time for two more, All like right. I said, you know. Right. So, uh, what would you like to do next then? Do two trains. Two trains. We finally get two trains. Yep. I want it for Christmas. <laughs> There's two trains headed nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. Somebody somewhere. Got two trains on the collision course. You can't hold the reins of an iron horse. Oh yeah. Got two trains headed somewhere. Yeah, somewhere leads to nowhere. Sometimes it's the smiles of things we can bring low with the big machines. Oh yeah. It's a little too late to be looking back on you
I guess that was the shortened version. I'm sorry. The shortened version? Ah, okay. The radio edit. Ah. Uh, the AM radio edit. The AM version. <laughs> All right. Okay, so once again, one more time, how do we look up and get everything Salem Rex? Uh, Bandcamp, The Salem Rex, and uh, Instagram, The Salem Rex at Instagram. And That's to find out what's going on with us. Mm -hmm. But if you want to listen to music and uh, purchase 45 and see what's coming out soon, uh, Bandcamp is the best place to go. All right, and then once again, a week from Saturday, Corktown Tavern in uh, Corktown, obviously, obviously in Corktown. <laughs> Um, the 16th, uh, three great rock bands, the Split Shifters, Cocktail Shake, and these gentlemen, Salem Rex. Ten bones get you in to see three bands live. You can see uh, only two live shows you can catch on, on YouTube, Uncle Ghoulie TV. That's my shameless plug for the evening. Hey, you're so you're Uncle Ghoulie TV. You you're can entitled see to it. The live, uh, us, the only two shows they've done live, and then I've got a ton, t like t over 2,500 videos of local bands from the Detroit area in the past 10 years. All right, check it out, Uncle Ghoulie TV. All right, so we got time for one more. Chris, Perfect. Billy, Max, and what's his name? Cash Cochran. <laughs> Cash Cochran. Cash, the, that. the guy that's always broke, his name is Cash. Cash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks again for coming down, gentlemen. Really appreciate it. Had a good time. Well, we appreciate you having us. All right. What are we going to finish off with? We're actually going to finish with a cover. This is a great from the great Canadian punk band Teenage Head. It's called Picture My Face. All right. Yeah. 